Today we begin the Book of Lamentations. The book opens with a picture of Jerusalem in ruins. The Babylonians have defeated the nation of Judah, the temple is destroyed, and the captives taken away to Babylon. The author, Jeremiah, known as the Weeping Prophet, begins with his mourning over fallen Jerusalem. Interestingly, his tears were not self-centered, mourning over personal suffering or loss. No, he wept because the people had rejected their God, the one who made them, loved them, and desired to bless them. Jeremiah's heart was broken because he knew that the selfishness and sinfulness of the people would bring about much suffering and exile. His heart was broken with those things that break God's heart. The book's opening in Jeremiah's lament can be summed up in three simple words. Sin has consequences. God's warnings are justified. God is patient and long-suffering, yes, but know that his punishment for sin is certain. Even today, it is still only by recognizing, confessing, and turning from our sin that we can come to God for deliverance. How much better to do so before his warnings are fulfilled? So we must ask ourselves, what brings us to tears? Do we weep because of our selfish pride when it gets wounded or because we've lost something of value? Or do we weep and pray because people all around us are living sinful lives and will ultimately suffer for it? We live in a world filled with injustice, poverty, war, and rebellion against God, all of which should move us to tears and to action. Lamentations can teach us what it means to grieve with God. As you read chapter one, put yourself in the sandals of Jeremiah, a prophet who was rejected, beaten, never himself seeing the fruit of his preaching to God's people, yet weeps for those very people and for God's holy city. Chapter one of Lamentations is, is dark and it's sad. It's sad with destruction, but darkness reminds us that we need light. Jesus, in his famous Sermon on the Mount, said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Keep in mind that sin has devastating consequences. But at the same time, be thankful that we no longer live in darkness, but have the light of the world, our Savior and Deliverer, Jesus Christ. And as we place our trust in him today, we rejoice in his light and life that we have in him.